Miller technique is a great technique to play uh, multiple strokes with only one motion of our arm and so this is very helpful for speed uh, endurance um, and so there are many pros to this technique but on the other side we have to pay attention to the sound so let's see exactly how the Muller technique motion develops and then let's break it down to understand exactly how to work on it We often hear that there's the whipping motion, okay, the famous upstroke and downstroke uh, motion that it's always a molar motion. All those informations are true. Um, the whipping motion is exactly what we do uh, and what I just did with my arm, okay, going laterally. And it's the same thing that we do with the upstroke and downstroke motion. Okay, these are molar motions. They all come from the same concepts and in fact they are the same motion developed one is developed vertically and the other is developed laterally okay so what's the difference if we play vertically this will help us to have an accent a strong stroke okay um, powerful stroke while we're playing a surface so for example doing something like this okay so if we are playing an accent uh, during single stroke. While we play single stroke roles, this is what would, would happen. And this helps a lot staying relaxed while we do these kind of motions. And even if we speed this up a lot, um, we will be uh, still be able to stay relaxed. So for example, Okay, so I don't feel a lot of stress in my muscles while I do this. Even if I play less strokes in between accents. In fact, this kind of motion is what often drummers do when they want to play a blast beat on the right and their right hand automatically does this kind of motion, okay? And sometimes we even hit the, hit the bell of the right symbol to give that kind of dynamic. But then if we try to play a straight single uh, stroke roll without doing this weeping, this um, molar motion, we have hard times. The reason why we do this kind of motion is exactly what I just said. It's because it allows us to stay relaxed even on a surface that can be a hi-hat that doesn't have a, um, an open hi-hat that doesn't have much of a rebound. And so this kind of motion allows us to have um, still a lot of speed and power um, without getting too stiff. This is a great way again to work on speed and this is the way you can develop it vertically so just by raising your hand thinking about the two weights of the stick okay when we do the upstroke you feel the the back weight of the stick and then when you, you do the downstroke you will feel the weight shifting to the tip okay so this kind of wave shifting okay so back of the stick top Okay, tip of the stick. So this kind of feel is when we develop this motion vertically. To work on this, we can start just practicing one stroke at a time, making sure that we feel the two weights of the stick 
start very slowly, upstroke, downstroke, upstroke, downstroke. And then when the stick hits the surface, we try to control, okay, the rebound. Even though that's not the goal of the exercise, we still want to have a complete workout, as much complete as possible, so that we, you also get used to the impact to control the impact of the accent or of the rim shot or whatever you're playing. Okay, so you can start from just doing this, speed it up, and of course you will get to a point where uh, the speed won't allow you to do all this motion anymore. It will start to become kind of like too much. So, since there's no need to use this technique um, just for a single stroke at certain speeds, we can just keep this for slow um, motions. So, for example, if you want to work on your rim shot, you can improvise a groove and focus on this motion. Same thing with your right hand. Okay, and um, how I think of this motion, it's always, for example, in a 4-4 four, four groove where I keep quarter notes with my hi-hat, I think 1, 2 are the upstroke and 3 is the downstroke. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, so that my motion, my body motion, it's always consistent and this also helps my timing. Okay, so this is one good use that we can um, do of the molar technique, developing uh, the motion vertically.